Hey everybody, Micah Thomas for Purina Animal Nutrition here, and today I want to introduce you to a young man from my hometown of Russell Springs, Kentucky, by the name of Grayson Blankenship. Grayson was described to me by some of his neighbors in the area as one of the hardest working young men they'd ever known, who's as honest as the day is long, and that they all hope that he makes it big in the cattle business one day. And I can tell you that after just a few weeks of working with this young guy, that he's well on his way to doing just that. Grayson came to us at Day and Day Feed in Columbia a few weeks back because he really wasn't satisfied with the results he was getting from his current feed program. So after getting to know him and his operation and his goals with his operation, we presented him with our Stress Care 5 product with RX3 immune support technology. So Grayson agreed to capture beginning weights and ending weights over a 28-day period, which is as long as you feed this feed and let us know about any treatments or pulls that he might have throughout that 28-day period. So I'm not going to give you a whole lot more details. I'm going to let Grayson tell his side of the story. So without further ado, here's Grayson Blankenship with his experience on using Stress Care 5 with RX3. Okay. My name is Grayson Blankenship. I'm located here in Russell Springs, Kentucky, uh, Lake Cumberland area. Uh, I'm a senior student at Murray State University for uh, Agri-Science Technology. I'm operating about a small scale feeder calf operation uh, with preconditioned calves ranging from four to 600 pounds. Uh, been doing this about my fifth year at this scale, doing about 10 years in total. Right now, typically I buy about four to 500 pound calves, steers and heifers, um, typically pretty gaint, lightweight. Um, high risk is what some people consider it. Uh, precondition them, keep them two to three months just depending on what the market's doing and turn around and sell them as a load lot. Prior to the Stress Care 5 we would start them on a sweet feed or calf starter, however you want to call it. Um, typically medicated for the first week or two on arrival and then we'd work them up to a 16% grower um, and they'd stay there either grazing or on hay. Um, there for a while this past winter we used wet wrap alfalfa and saw some good results out of that. But we were just looking for a way to improve our starter and get them on a good start. And I think we finally found it. This group of calves, um, they totaled out to be 93 heifers. When they come in, they average 425 pounds. Fair condition, um, short weaned most of them. Uh, gaint, not real fleshy. Perfect to grow on, not something busting the scale like you said or nothing just hiding hair. Um, right away they took off with it. They went right to it. The palatability was great. Had no problems getting them going on it. Um, they went right with it. They would eat it all, but they were satisfied after. Most of the time after they were done eating, they'd go lay down. Um, some of them may graze a little bit. Not bad. Good mineral intake, good water intake, and basically no sickness. Had two calves we treated, or both of them happened within the same week. Uh, we had a little bit of a weather change, which probably definitely played a part with it, but also at the same time we turned them into a new pasture. Absolutely, I think it's worthwhile. Um, we just got done, you helped us, we just got done working them again. On the 425 pound average after 28 days, I think it'd be fair to say they probably will average as a group probably 480, 490. So roughly off the top of my head that's at least two and a half pound a day gain on the first 28 days which I think is excellent I don't think with anything else you'll be, get close to that um, it really takes a lot of work out of it when they go right to it um, definitely takes a lot of work out of it when they eat good they eat what they need and they get what they need in a small amount because we know fresh calves off the cow don't eat a whole lot regardless so when they can get it in five pound versus eight get the same nutrients works out so much better. Um, I think a good feed intake really lowers your risk of sickness. This has been the best starting group we've had. The least sickness, knock on wood, hope we don't have any, but uh, I think for the future I, I could see myself using it every time until something better comes out with Purina, but uh, it's made me a believer. Um, they've definitely been the most accommodating. Uh, first day I went in there, everybody was very helpful. We took the same feed from a competitor that I was buying feed from, brought it there. That day is when I realized that the pencil wasn't getting put to the paper the way it should be. Two hours later is when they had you contact me. And you've been here 
I would say it'd be fair to say twice a month ever since. Uh, that's worth a lot. If they definitely have their nutrition straight, they're definitely putting a lot more work into it than any of the competitors that I've seen. And they treat you individually. Everybody's different, they know that. Uh, they're willing to work with you and do what's best for your practice. So I couldn't be more pleased with them.